Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 and yes, we've begun with regular uploads and in the previous video, you did see how to install TWRP recovery on this wonderful, wonderful device. Now I know that Android 11 ROMs have been out for this particular phone for a very, very long time. But uh, yeah, I know you're wondering why is this device here when the video is about Pocophone F1? Well, don't worry, just don't worry. Let's talk about the ROM that we're gonna be installing today. We're gonna to talk about Awaken OS. Now, this is an Android 11 ROM. All right, it was updated last on the 6th of November 2020 and the version is 1.3 Crimson Official and as far as the device change log is concerned, it says fixed Chrome freeze added support for 4K video playback. Who does that on a device? I don't know, anyways. Updated health hall to 2.1, switch to QTI health. This is all Greek and Spanish to most of my subscribers, I know. Uh, overall, what it means is it makes the update even better. Your phone would run better and stuff like that. So before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And in case you wish to support us, we have a join button active on our channel. The memberships start from 29 rupees a month and it would be really, really helpful. So without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Yeah, so now you see the magic, right? The K20 Pro was just there for changelog. I didn't have Telegram on this. Anyways, this is the Poco F1 running MIUI 11, all right? So uh, you do need to go ahead and follow the standard procedure of, you know, flashing the latest vendor firmware and then going ahead and flashing the ROM. Now this particular ROM, Awaken OS 11, based on Android 11, comes with Google Apps pre-included. So you just need to make sure you have more than 50% battery you have backed up all the data and you need to make sure you have the ROM file and TWRP installed with an unlocked bootloader on your phone. Of course, without unlocked bootloader, you won't be able to install TWRP. So, you know, once you have everything ready, I am using this particular OTG drive. If you are, you know, normally available on my K20 Pro videos, you would know this is what I do. So, you know, I prefer to flash the complete internal storage, wipe everything. And in this particular video, we are going to wipe the vendor as well, because this, as I said, from my down downgrade video is 11.0.9 and the latest vendor that I'm going to use is 12.0.2 which I believe will work with this particular ROM. So once you have everything ready, let's go ahead and begin the flashing process. So to flash, you need to first make sure you boot into TWRP. To do that, press and hold volume up and power the time you see the MI logo or POCO logo in this case. All right, so as you can see over here, we have booted into TWRP. So first things first, we will go to wipe and then click format data and type in yes and tick mark. Now, whenever you do a format data, everything on your internal storage completely gets wiped. So please be careful. And then we will go to the main screen, reboot and select recovery. And we can do a do not install over here. We need to boot back into recovery so that we can wipe everything else and then we can go ahead and flash the required files. We've come back to TWRP, so swipe to allow modification, wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage. We won't be wiping USB OTG because that is where all of my files are. Now we will go to install, select storage and select USB, hit OK. And first we will select the firmware add more zips then the rom and swipe so wait for this to be flashed it'll take about two to five minutes so please be patient while that happens and once the flash is complete we will actually go ahead and boot into the system we will have a look at the boot animation and we will have a look how does the rom look and what are the first impressions all right so as you can see awaken os has been flashed along with the firmware so we will just do a wipe cache and then we will do a reboot system and do not install now this recovery to me looks a little bit different compared to orange fox because that is what i'm used to on this particular device that is the k20 pro now let's actually have a look at the boot animation how good or bad it is i'll give it one point here because it's definitely minimalistic like how my friend mr strange 2x likes it 
not a lot of flash and stuff like that very very basic boot animation let's wait for it to boot up and then we'll quickly have a look around the operating system all right so as you can see over here we are on the home screen of awaken os and this is basically android 11 so we will quickly you know go to settings over here so let's go to about phone and if we look at Android version, it is Android version 11 and that is all the details that we have. This is security patch November 5th, so that means it does indeed have the latest security patch of November. Now, you know, one thing that I'd like to share over here, after a very long time, I have experienced a custom ROM on the Poco Phone F1. Now, not to compare it to the K20 Pro, but don't use MIUI on this device, guys. Uh, if you have it for a year or two, my big and strong recommendation if you own a pocophone f1 just unlock that bootloader and slap a custom rom on this particular device because the hardware is more than capable of and if we have a look at all the installed applications over here you do have some camera app i believe this is like the basic application over here and then you don't have much so this is a very very pixel-esque operating system you do have the play store and all the other things now let's actually go to settings over here and see if we have some customization options we do have awaken settings so awaken os does have its own share of customizations now we will go through it when we completely review this particular rom but for now you know it looks really really slick and smooth and as you can see the transition animations the app launch animations and everything else works perfectly fine and if we go to network and internet all the relevant options are available over here unfortunately mobile network is grayed out because of not installed any sim cards in there but from the first impressions awaken os looks really really nice and you know in this video you saw how to install that particular operating system on this particular phone that is a poco phone f1 now let me know in the comment section if you like this video or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye